So you got the attic? Attic? Oh no, please tell me you got the attic. You didn't tell me there was an attic. You guys, you said you got upstairs. I did do upstairs. Well, upstairs includes the attic. You guys! What is going on? Welcome back to Mugen Films. If this is your first time here, I introduce, review, and rank films every week. So start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss your favorite shows. In this episode, I'll be going over the movie called The Shed. I always aim to be concise and keep it free of spoilers, but since spoilers can be subjective, please proceed with your own discretion. Starting off with the production quality category. Our first category is plot. The entire movie was way too predictable. And to make matters worse, they revealed the mystery of what was in the shed from the beginning, leaving nothing more to anticipate from this movie. Therefore, plot is getting a 2 out of 10. The next category is character. None of the characters were particularly likable, and the actor's subpar acting skills did not help with this. The character category receives a 3 out of 10. Next up, we have audio and visual. Sometimes they had blood where they weren't supposed to, and sometimes they didn't when they were supposed to have it. And at times, the special effect makeups were so noticeable, I just couldn't get into the scenes. I'm rating it a 3 out of 10 here. Next up is directing. The shed had just way too many scenes that did not make sense. The script was boring, it was corny, and the editing was choppy. I was cringing pretty much the whole time. So I'm giving it a 1 for directing. Last in our production category is pace. Some parts of the story, like how the main character ended up with his grandfather, felt really rushed. The rest of the movie's pace was quite slow, while the final fight scene ended abruptly, making it anticlimactic. I'm giving this category a 3. For genre, 5 points for quantity and 5 points for quality will be given. First up is action. Not much in quantity and not much in quality. Therefore, it's getting a 2 out of 10. Next, we have comedy. I did laugh in a scene that contained the only joke in the movie, but it wasn't the joke. It was the sheriff's expression when she was trying to hold her laugh back that made me laugh. Just one little screw up, and I'll be right up your ass. You got it? I'm sure you're looking forward to getting up my ass, Deputy Day. <laughs> Comedy gets a one. The next category is drama. The movie did contain quite a bit of drama regarding the main character's personal life. Unfortunately, none of them were that impactful. This category receives a 4. Next, we have romance. There were some romance and some friendship. However, I wasn't feeling it too much. Maybe due to the fact that the movie was trying to force it on me. I, I told you this fucking secret as my best friend and I'm expecting you to keep it as my best friend. I'm supposed to be your best friend! You're my friend. You're my best friend. Therefore, this category gets a 3. Last in the genre category is violence. Had the quality of the special effects been better, this category would have received a higher score, but since it lacked realism, it's getting a 4 out of 10. Before I give you my final thoughts and score, a quick reminder that if you want more contents like this, the easiest way for you to tell me is by smashing that like button. I can't help but keep thinking that maybe if this film had kept whatever was in the shed as a mystery until the end, it might have been better. But unfortunately, it is what it is. I recommend you save 100 minutes of your time for a different film. I'm giving the shed a 2 out of 10 for the HTFB score. And finally, the production quality received a total score of 12 out of 50. Thanks for watching and check out my other videos.